This video will describe the various modules of the main screen during an active study. The real-time PCO2 and PO2 graphs display a continuous tracing of PCO2 in blue and PO2 in green, as measured at the mouth in millimeters mercury. The dots on the PO2 and PCO2 tracings show the end tidal values for each breath. The end tidal history displays the series of values for end tidal PCO2 displayed in blue and end tidal PO2 displayed in green, updated after every breath. The center of the light blue and light green bars, or the gray line, are the targeted values as specified by the study which is running. The achievable bars is a combination of the range of error of measurement, 2 mm mercury for PCO2 and 10 mm mercury for PO2, and what target can be achieved considering the limitations of the PCO2, PO2, and tidal volume of the subject's previous breath, and the limitations on the inspired CO2 and O2 concentrations. In other words, what is achievable in that breath. When running a study, the operator can choose to skip to the next stage by pressing the skip button. The time at which the skip occurred is logged in the event text file. The event button allows you to place a timestamp at the current study time. This event flag is then logged into the event text file so it can be referenced at a later time. A description of the event can be entered using the on-screen dialog box during the session. Toward the bottom of the screen is an alarm indicator. A green bar indicates that there are no alarms currently during operation. Yellow is a low to medium priority alarm, which serves as a warning for events such as high subject minute ventilation or tidal volumes. A red alarm is a high priority alarm, which stops the sequence from running and thus the subject is free to passively breathe room air. When you have finished your study, press the end session button to exit to the main screen. Log files from your session are saved in the following directory. This video is for informational purposes only. For detailed information on how to properly use this device, you must read and comply with the instructions for use provided with the device.